the NASA AD-1 was both an aircraft and an associated flight test program conducted between 1979 and 1982 at the NASA Dryden Flight Research Center, Edwards, California, which successfully demonstrated an aircraft wing that could be pivoted obliquely from 0 to 60 degrees during flight. The unique oblique wing was demonstrated on a small, subsonic jet-powered research aircraft called the AD-1. The aircraft was flown 79 times during the research program, which evaluated the basic pivot wing concept and gathered information on handling qualities and aerodynamics at various speeds and degrees of pivot. Analytical and wind tunnel studies Jones initiated at Ames indicated that a transport size oblique wing aircraft, flying at speeds up to Mach 1.4, would have substantially better aerodynamic performance than aircraft with more conventional wings. At high speeds, both subsonic and supersonic, the wing would be pivoted at up to 60 degrees to the aircraft's fuselage for better high-speed performance. As the aircraft gained speed, the wing would be pivoted to increase the oblique angle, thereby reducing the drag on decreasing fuel consumption. The AD-1 aircraft was delivered to Dryden in February 1979. The Rutan Aircraft Factory, Mojave, California provided the detailed design and load analysis for the intentionally low-speed, low-cost aircraft. Piloting the aircraft on its first flight December 21, 1979, was NASA research pilot Thomas C. McMurty, who was also the pilot on the final flight August 7, 1982. These were essentially the same engines used in the BD-5J. The aircraft was limited for reasons of safety to a speed of about 170 miles per hour. A fixed tricycle landing gear, mounted close to the fuselage to lessen aerodynamic drag, gave the aircraft a very squatty appearance on the ground. The research program to validate the oblique wing concept was typical of any NASA high-risk project, to advance through each test element and expand the operating envelope, methodically and carefully. The aircraft continued to be flown for another year, obtaining data at various speeds and wing pivot angles until the final flight in August 1982. The final flight of the AD-1 did not occur at Dryden but at the Experimental Aircraft Association's annual exhibition at Oshkosh, Wisconsin, where it was flown eight times to demonstrate its unique configuration. The fiberglass structure limited wing stiffness that would have improved the aircraft's handling qualities, as an improved control system would also have done. Thus, although the AD-1 structure allowed completion of the program's technical objectives, there was still a need for a transonic oblique wing research aircraft to assess the effects of compressibility, evaluate a more representative structure, and analyze flight performance at transonic speeds. Aircraft of comparable role configuration, and the error.